Hi there, it's Paul in Perth here again. And this is our beloved uh, BL Chassis 17 that we've made a ton of videos with. I've got to be honest, I've fallen in love with this girl. I get a bit emotionally attached to, uh, to cars, uh, even motorbikes, as maybe you do as well. And uh, I've certainly become quite emotionally attached uh, to this to Chassis 17. So one of the things I do before I send the car off for scrap is I uh, remove the fuel. And you'll remember from one of my previous videos, I used a jiggle hose. So basically a jiggle hose is a standard hose with this little jiggle attachment in it, which is basically a marble, a captured marble. And I used it to create a siphon. What I've done is I've removed the jiggle part off the hose, so I now just have a hose. And what I've done is I've connected one hose to the um, fuel line that goes from the fuel tank to the fuel rail of the engine into the jerry can because this when the fuel pump is pumping this is where fuel comes out so this is what i've got set up here at this end now come and have a look at what i've got set up at the other end so just come with me we might have to reposition ourselves a little bit you might have to shoot through the window but we'll work it out now this is the fuel pump here and this is the fuel pump plug and that's the original one that is actually belongs to this car. The one that I've plugged in is a, um, a harness that I've made up from parts from other cars. And just if it interests you, you, you can tell how long I've been uh, wrecking cars for because that's out of a D, uh, DE Mazda 2 and that's out of a BL3. And the way I used to remember it is the Mazda 2 has three connectors and the Mazda 3 has two connectors. So they're the opposite of what you think. So anyway, with that harness, so you can quite clearly see, there's my harness and here's my battery connectors. If I put the negative on battery negative and positive on battery positive, let's go back around to the engine bay and have a look what's happening over there because now that fuel pump is pumping. Okay, so you can see there, you can see in the line it is pumping and if I pull that out, careful because I don't want to go everywhere. It is pumping. Now, I did check the um, the fuel gauge before I started. This particular car, when it came from the auction, has an almost empty fuel tank. And I can tell it's almost empty because I wouldn't be getting this air in the line if the tank was full. So I can, I can actually tell that I'm into the last couple of litres there. And that's pretty much what the um, fuel gauge said. So that's not surprising. So I'll leave that running for a while because there's, there's no harm there's no harm done by, by leaving that running. So I might only get a couple of litres out of this car, but I feel like that's the right thing to do when you're done with the car is you pump the fuel out and then you pour it into another car and you reuse it. So this is the end of the video. That's another way to um, get fuel out of a fuel tank. You can obviously do it when the engine is in the engine bay. You just have to remember that that is the um, line from the tank. This line here is the return line back to the tank. So when you're, um, when you're putting 12 volts across the fuel pump, the, it will pump fuel out of that line, not that line, okay? I hope that's helped you, and if it has, please click like, click subscribe, leave me a comment, share some love, and share some knowledge, all right? Thanks from Paul in Perth. See you later.